What's going on everyone? It's Dallin here again with Outcast Outdoors. Shooting a video today on how to fillet and how to cook some some uh, fresh Idaho trout. We just went fishing today and, and caught a bunch. My wife behind the camera caught the most and then I caught, I think she caught five, I caught four and then my dad caught three. So we had a good day of fishing and we caught a handful of nice we caught some German browns and some cutthroat trout. So here's the one of the uh, German browns. I'm gonna show you how to fillet these guys up. So the first thing I do when I go to fillet a fish is I want the back of the fish, the back dorsal fin here facing me and I want the head on my right. I'll take this fillet off first and then we'll flip the fish over and take that fillet off. For the, the fillet knife of preference, I prefer this guy. This is my uh, electric fisherman fillet knife. It's, it's electric, so you can use the regular knife style, the regular fillet knives, and these will work just fine. You just got to make sure they're real sharp. But for some reason, these electric ones just take the fillets off real easy. So I'm going to be using this one today. Um, and then I'll show you when, when I want to use the other, the other knife. And that'll come in just a second. So first thing we're going to do is kind of make underneath this first fin here, we're going to make a slight cut angle towards the head and then turn the knife. You kind of want to have it off the edge of the, off of the edge of what you're cutting on so you can get a good flat fillet so that you're not cutting straight down into the other side of the fish. The goal is to just get this side off, okay? So we're gonna make that first cut right here. You can feel the spine bone come just like that. We're gonna flip the knife over and I'm gonna make sure that it is flat here. Just gonna follow the bone. All the way down and there's your first fillet pretty slick right you just follow see how you can just follow the the back of the fish there and there's not a lot of meat left on there that's what you want you want to get all the meat on your fillet so you have the fish here we're just gonna flip it over to this side and we're gonna do the same thing but we're just cutting this way and then we're gonna flip the knife come off the edge and cut that way. I kind of use my finger to grab back behind the gill here. It gives yourself something to hold on to. So you can hold on to here and then get your knife flat and even so that you're not leaving a lot of meat on the fillet or on the fish and not on your fillet. Okay, and then there you have your second fillet on that fish. Now, sometimes it's okay, you'll get a little bit of this on here, this um, fat tissue and a fin, but that's okay. We're gonna trim this off and we're gonna trim these rib bones off anyway. So that's no big deal, um, perfectly fine. And then what you're left with is just, just this part of the fish, which you will just discard, but look, there's not a lot left on that fish so we did a pretty clean clean job on that let's get after these other ones here okay so now we're going to show a, a at a different angle so you can get a, a bird's eye view so once again i have the back of the fish facing me the head is on the right okay we're going to go underneath the first fin here and do a cut towards the head good till you can feel the rib or the spine right here and then we're going to turn the knife and make sure it's flat and run it along that side of the fish
just like that. You've got your fillet. That's some pretty pink meat there. That's one of the cutthroats. That's nice and orange. That'd be good eating there. So there's one side, then you flip over the fish. Okay, the back is still facing you. Make the cut here, towards the head. Okay, you can hold on, like I say, you can hold on back here. Give you something to hold on to. Then we're gonna make the cut toward the tail. Keep a nice flat. And there you have your second fillet. And that's all that's left from that fish. Okay, folks, and just like that, we've got all of the fillets off the fish. Um, as you can see here, we've got a bunch of these nice fillets, but we still have one problem. There's still all these rib bones right here. So that's when you grab your, your other knife, your other um, fillet knife like this. Uh, make sure it's good and sharp. Sharpen it up on the steel. And what you're gonna do is gently, as gently as you can, Try to get underneath these bones here. These are the rib bones that you want to take out so that you're not having to eat those when you, or pick them out when you go to eat it. And then you can also remove some of the fins if you got a, a few fins or whatever on there. And so we're going to go ahead and remove those bones here and then I'll show you how to get the skin off the back of the filet. So this is one of those German brown filets. What I like to do is start at the end here and come right underneath those rib bones. Easy does it. Come right along the top here. And you're trying to get those bones out without removing a whole ton of the meat that's underneath because you still want to be able to have that stay on the filet. And so this this can be a little bit of a tedious process, but it helps it so that you're not having to pick these out when you go to eat it. See how you just kind of work that knife underneath there? Go nice and easy. Make sure you don't chop your fingers off. Good, so we're almost got that part. So then I come back up here and work down. Trying to leave as much of that filet on there as you can. Take your time. Okay, and then you can kind of put your knife down on those rib bones and just kind of pull and they'll pull right off. Okay, now we've got this fin right here a little bit. So we're just gonna clean that up. And there you got a nice filet. So now that we've got those rib bones out, you, you can run your finger along here. You're still going to have a few of those little, little pin bones through here. And you could take the time to get the tweezers out and pluck those out, but I'm too lazy to do that. So I just know that they're there when I go to eat the fish and I just kind of am aware of them. But really, from here down toward the tail, you're not gonna have any bone. So I always give this part to the kids. This part here, down about halfway down from where those rib, ribs were down to the tail, you're not gonna have any bones. You shouldn't have any bones in this area. So that'd be a good piece to give to the kids. Now, to get the skin off, 
what you do is you put your knife down here and you pinch with your you push down with your finger and get get it started a little bit all right okay then you got something to hold on to and you pinch it with your thumb get your knife off the edge of the table so that you're completely flat on there on the cutting board and you just hold that skin and hold your knife still and let the knife do the work pull on that skin and you'll have that fish just jumping right out of the skin just like that so there's the skin off of that beautiful fillet look at that orange meat we're gonna put the rest of the the skin in this gut pile here this pile of guts here you could use as crawdad bait if you want if you have a place where you could go crawdad fishing or if you have a neighbor that you don't like you could bag that up for them put it on the doorstep and they'd have a surprise in the morning but we don't condone that type of behavior here on outcast outdoors so you just throw it in the trash or use it as crawdad bait, okay? So what we're gonna do is remove those rib bones and take the skin off of all these fillets. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, but uh, that's what we're gonna do, just as easy as that. All right, here we go. Okay folks, so we just got done filleting seven trout. So it didn't really take a whole long time. Once again, we used that electric fillet knife to get the fillets off. After we got the fillets off, then we used our regular filleting knife to get the rib bones out and then to take the skin off. One thing I failed to mention is when I'm taking the skin off is I have, I have the knife down there on the uh, flat on the cutting board with a little bit of angle to it and then I kind of just you could probably see with my arm but I'm kind of just grabbing a hold of that skin and just kind of wiggling it and letting the light knife stay there and then it just kind of wiggles right out of the skin if, if your knife is good and sharp so make sure you got a good sharp knife don't cut yourself um, but that's that's one way to fillet some fish now other people have different ways of filleting fish and that's just fine. Do whatever you want to do. That's just way my that's just the way that my dad taught me. That's the way that his dad and grandpa taught him. So if it's good enough for my great grandpa, it's good enough for me. That guy was a fishing machine. So all we gotta do is wash these fillets up, um, kind of get some of that blood and the scales and stuff off of them. I like to put a uh, get a Ziploc bag and put a paper towel on the bottom, rinse the fillets off, get them dry, and then put them on the paper towel in the Ziploc bag, zip them up. We're going to put them in the, free, in the uh, fridge, and then we're going to grill them up. I'm going to show you a, a really good recipe on how to grill up these, these nice um, Idaho trout. So um, we'll be back with you shortly so that we can grill these up. See you in a sec.
right, so we got the pellet grill warming up. It's about ready to go. I got it set at 325 degrees. We've got our fish here in the bag. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on the grill. I've got a little bit of foil here with a little bit of butter. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, grill these fish up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of lemon pepper on these ones. My, that's my wife's favorite. So we got that McCormick, Team McCormick, lemon pepper seasoning. I'm gonna give some on this side. Okay, and for these fillets over here, we're just gonna put directly on the grill. I had to put a little, one more fish fillet on, on the lemon pepper side so that they would all fit, but there's the fish there. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, lemon juice on these and that's why I have the foil is so that uh, the lemon juice doesn't just go everywhere it can kind of hold and stay in the foil and kind of give those fish a little bit of lemon flavor along with the lemon pepper that was a trick I learned from my father-in-law so we're gonna give that a shot now for the fish on the right side we're gonna do a little bit of dill weed if it all doesn't blow away. Sorry, it's a little windy today. And we're also gonna put a little bit of this citrusy garlic seasoning from Trader Joe's that my sister sent me. We're gonna put some of this stuff on, on these two back here. See how that is. Haven't tried it before, so first time, first time for everything. So thank you, Erica, for uh, sending us this. This is awesome. All right, we're gonna close the lid, and we're gonna let her cook here. Got it set to once again 325. With um, on this pellet grill, I've got it set to level four on the smoke. So there's a should get a little bit of a smoky flavor to it. Now to the fish that I have on the right here with the dill weed, I added a little bit of butter. So as that cooks, that'll melt down over the fish. But these are looking good, so we'll, we'll let them rock and roll here. Okay, so I just flipped the fish. Lesson learned, I wouldn't put fish directly on the grill plates. It's not very non-stick but the uh, foil seemed to be holding good. I added a little more lemon juice, lemon pepper, fish are looking good. And then we've got our citrusy garlic seasoning and then the dill weed here. So a few more minutes and we should be ready to eat them. All right, so we got it all plated up here. Fish looks good. We have some of the lemon pepper, some of the citrusy garlic and dill weed fish. We've got some a lettuce salad and some fried potatoes. So a great meal here. I got my boys here. This is Byron. And I've got Easton right here. And they're gonna try the fish. Okay, so I gave them the lemon pepper. What do you think, Byron? Go ahead and try some. Yummy. Is it good? You like it? Good, okay. Now Easton. Yum. What do you think, East? That's good. That tastes good? Two thumbs up from Easton. What do we got from Byron? Oh, two thumbs up as well. All right, let's go ahead and try this. Okay, so here's a little bit of the dill weed one. <laughs> Not bad. A little on the drier side, so you can add a little more butter if you wanted. This is the citrusy garlic. We're gonna go ahead and try some of that. I can see you on that screen. Hmm. 
I'm digging the citri citrusy garlic. That's pretty good. Trader Joe's, you know how to make some, uh, you know how to make some tasty spices. Now we're gonna try the, uh, now we're gonna try the lemon pepper one. So we got the lemon pepper here. <laughs> that one's pretty doggone good. I think the, uh, I think the lemon pepper is gonna, gonna get my vote. So out of the, out of the three, the dill weed, citrusy garlic and lemon pepper, the lemon pepper, that one takes the cake for me. But uh, thanks for being with us today. Hope you enjoyed watching how to fillet these fish and, and a couple of different ways on how to cook them. Once again, I would uh, not put the fish directly on the grill. I'd put some foil down or something um, and a little bit of butter so it doesn't stick and it's a little bit easier to flip. I made it work, but I think the fish should stay a little bit more moist if you if you did that and a little less dried out. So the consensus is um, that lemon pepper was number one. I liked the citrusy garlic number two and then the dill weed number three. And then my wife, lemon pepper was number one and then the dill weed and then the citrusy garlic was number three. The kids, they both liked the lemon pepper, right? Yeah. That was your favorite? Yeah. That was your favorite? <laughs> Easton and Byron, you like the lemon pepper? Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us on this episode of uh, Outcast Outdoors. Thanks for being with us and remember to get outcasting. Thanks for watching.